A very happy Monday to all of you Chargers. I'm Olivia Deveni. And I'm Ashley Oaks, signing in. On this May 9th segment of DP News, we'll be giving you the scoop on prom and after prom ticket sales. Guest passes for prom. Another swag swap and more. You're watching DP, DP News. News. The deadline for community service for all se seniors with a minimum of 60 volunteer hours must be completed and turned into the Career Center by Friday, May 20th before 3.15 in order to graduate. You cannot forget about this, seniors. As for underclassmen, volunteer hours must be turned in by the end of the school year, June 8th. If you have questions or concerns, please stop by the Career Center. We'd like to remind you that Friday Night Live Club is hosting another swag swap on May 10th and May 9th, May 12th, which is Thursday in the Greek. Make sure to check it out. Seniors, the countdown to prom is really beginning. With just five more days until the event, it's time to get prepared. Prom tickets are on sale this week at lunch by the athletics office. It is $60 for seniors with a charger card and $65 for seniors without a charger card. Now here's um, the prices for non-DP seniors who would be going to prom. $65 for DP students in grades 9, 10, and 11 with a charger card. $70 for students in grades 9, 10, and 11 without a DP charger card. and $75 dollars for non-DP students. If you want to bring a guest who does not go to DP, tickets must be purchased in person and you must fill out a guest form, which includes a parent and administration signature. Keep in mind that your guests must be 20 or younger. Anyone who is interested in joining the 2016-2017 leadership class, please remember that applications are due on Wednesday by 4. And that just about sums it up. Have a great day, Chargers. Let's send it over to Peter with sports. What's up, DP? This is Peter here with your sports report. Track and field had the annual Channel League finals on Friday, where Hunter Clark and Christina Rice continued to impress. Clark ran the 3,200-meter race in 9 minutes and 21 seconds, and Rice finished in 11 minutes and 1 second to take first place in their respective events. Great job to our track team. Our very own girls' beach volleyball team finished in second place this year in Channel League. Led by seniors Audrey Baldwin, Carissa Mertens, Maddie Manier, and Kat Hogan, our girls had a great season as they are now ranked 14th out of 48 teams in the Interscholastic Beach Volleyball League. Andres Fairbarn and Zach Steinberger continue to play well as they have qualified for the second round of the CIF Round Golf Finals. Wish them luck in their quest for their individual titles. Baseball and softball have huge league games today against Ventura, both starting at 3. Softball is away at Ventura and baseball is home. Come up to the field after school to watch the guys beat Ventura and stay in first place. That's all for your Sports Report DP. Now we're Nandini with current events. Hey DP, it's Nandini with the news. An outbreak of listeria across three states, including California, has caused a major frozen organic and non-organic vegetables recall. Stores including Safeway, Trader Joe's, and Costco have many of the products on the list that the Centers for Disease Control Prevention published. The list included 358 products under 42 different brands. The products on the list are potentially contaminated with the deadly bacteria listeria. CBS News stated that eight people have been hospitalized so far and two patients later died from other causes, according to the CDC. Thanks for listening, DP. Hey there Chargers, I'm Sarah Asmussen here to give you an update on our extreme weather patterns in Santa Barbara. Today's temperatures will include a high of 71 degrees and a low of 55 degrees with intermittent drizzling throughout the morning. By midday we should see some peaks of sunshine and the humidity level should remain at about 80%.
Tomorrow's temperatures are looking to be about the same as today's with the high peaking at 72 degrees. Well, that wraps up today's DP News segment. Try not to stress out too much about APIB exams and have a great day, DP.